Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, it is she, it is her, it is the, it is who, it is Rosie Rosette 2020. Pal. <sighs> Let me do another one. You know what it's slow and he's about to, no, not really. You know, I was just thinking, I took some notes. Not just as a black woman, just as a woman, period. I was thinking about all that we have got to do. To be a woman. To be a woman. Okay? Ouch. We have a heavy load. We have a heavy load. We, got, we have too much to do. We have too much to do. Let me just let me just go through the list that I made last night or the other day of things I have to do as a woman. Okay, as a woman, not as a wife, as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter, whatever, just as a woman. Okay, let me just tell you. I have to cook, clean, work, screw, birth, um, invest, decorate, have a period, do my hair. I have to dress. I have to put on makeup. Well, I don't have to, but I need to. I have yeah, no, I have to. I have to protect. Okay, I gotta protect these eyelashes. <laughs> I think this is time to go. Um I have to conquer. I have to repeat. I have to ask. I have to beg. I have to be feminine. I have to be ladylike. I have to fight. I have to scream. I have to be level-headed, I think. I have to go through postpartum. I have to go through menopause. I have to go through hormones. I have to go through hot flashes. Like, <clears throat> I have to be educated. I have to be sensible. I have to nurture. There is a lot that we have to, you I have to be pregnant for my nine months. I mean, I choose to be. You know, we are the ones that give birth to the nation, to the world. We have to do that. Because if we don't, guess what? There's no one left. Who Who's going to do it? We're going to have test two babies? I guess so. Okay, that's fine. You know, I have to feel. I have to hurt. I have to be sensible. I have to pa be passionate. Again, I have to be nurturing. Now, are all women like this? No. There's some women who don't have kids. There's some women who don't cook. There's some women who don't clean. There's some people, who, women who don't work. There's some people who don't get educated. Some women who don't get educated. There's women who don't nurture. There's women who are in crack. There's some women who don't bathe. But these are the things that I'm doing, that I've chose to do, that as a woman of my definition, this is what I have to do. I have to seek. I have to yearn. I have to read. I have to know. I have to be knowledgeable in order to convey it to my offspring. Do you guys just ever, men, do you realize all that we have to do? You know how painful a period cycle is? I've always had bad cramps. Do you men know how hard what how hard it is to have a baby? You have never felt pain like that. Excruciating pain. Like pain to the 30th level. Like, you know, I'm having pain in my shoulders now. But this ain't nothing to the pain. Cramps every month? Oh my, and I have horrible cramps. Like I have to, you know, can't work. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to be on the ground crying because I was in so much pain, so much pain. But see, you men would not know anything about this because you simply don't go through this. Weight gain, weight loss, hair, you know, hair, hair spotting, hair splotching, um, eczema, you know, uh, alopecia. We do so much. We have to go through so much. So we have to screw men. We have to nurture men. We have to, and then we have to cook, clean, and nurture the kids, and help them with the homework, and cook. This is whether you're with a man or you're not with a man. But nowadays, a lot of women are single and they're doing this. And they're doing a heck of a job. And, you know, my grandmother had five kids. He, she had four kids and a baby on the way when her husband left her to be with 
the woman that he spent the rest of his life with while my grandmother had to raise five kids. Now, my other grandmother on the other side, on my mother's side, she never worked. Now, the grandmother who raised the five kids by herself, all of those kids were educated, got double degrees, most of them, except for my dad. But on my mother's side, the mother who didn't work, nobody graduated from college. No, I think I was the first one that graduated from college on that side. I'm not saying they weren't successful. I'm just saying they just didn't go to school and their mother was at home. So, but one mother valued education more than the other one. There, it makes a huge difference. Um, one didn't cook. The one who was at home who didn't work, she didn't cook. She cleaned, but she didn't cook. Okay? She didn't cook. She's not, she wasn't a cook. The one who had five kids, who raised five kids on her, she cooked and cleaned and raised five kids and had three jobs. I'm not saying one mother is not as good as the other one. I'm just saying that's just how life is. But still, as a mother to conceive to go through nine months of pregnancy and to deliver a child is a lot and I just don't think men in my community no longer appreciate that I don't think the women in my community know their self-worth I don't think so. And I don't blame it on you younger individuals. I blame it on your mamas and your grandmothers who are not instilling this knowledge, this worth to you guys because no one told them. No one told them. I don't know. I don't know if everybody was on crack. Couldn't everybody be on crack? Not everybody. Not everybody. And that's not our fault again because the government flooded crack cocaine into these neighborhoods we didn't there's no heroin grown here cocoa crack coke cocaine that's not in that's not made in in america no honey that shit was flooded the cia what is his name oliver north didn't they trade guns for drugs or something like that i don't know allegedly <sighs> We have to do a lot, especially black women. We got a lot on our shoulders, but not only black, just women, period. There's mothers, there's single mothers all of all different nationalities, white, black, Mexican, um, Asian. There's a lot of single, and just in this building. I mean, there's most, there's most families. But there are a lot of single women here. Single mothers, I'm sorry. And the load that we have to carry is just so abundant. I just want people to understand what a woman has to do. Not to be great, not to be pretty, just to be. Just to keep our sanity, just to keep our happiness, just to stay out of depression. Oh, and let's not, let's, let's not even factor in when we get sick or hurt or, you know, lose a job or unemployed or on drugs or homeless or, you know, um, beat up, domestically violated. Let's not even talk about that. That's a whole new, oh, let's not talk about if we don't have parents to guide us, mothers, fathers are not around. We got to do it ourselves, or we got to depend on a man or we got to depend on a dope man or we got to depend on a job that, you know, we got to work three and four jobs just to keep a roof over. Let's not even talk about that. Let's not talk about, you know, during COVID, how the rich got richer, but the middle class and the poor got poorer and more destitute. More destitute. There's a lot of people who are backed up on their on their rent. Why? Where are their men? We're unprotected. And it seems like society is pushing us to be separated. And I'm not just talking about the, the gay and lesbian thing. No, no, no. I'm talking about 
it seems like it's more fashionable now to be single than to be married. Everybody doesn't, you know, kids, they, they can't even communicate with each other because everyone's looking at their phone. If it's not on Instagram, they're not going to look up and talk to you. They don't even know how to talk to people anymore because everybody's looking on the phone. Everybody's looking at a screen. Now, if you're on the screen, they'll, you know, they can focus on you. But to look up and to actually have a conversation, oh, you can forget that. You can forget that. That's why I miss working because I kind of made the kids talk speak let's have a conversation i would get up in their faces every day and i would make it uh my business to say hello new people who you know were coming in to my company i would if i saw them i would make it my business to say hello hi how are you doing my name is blah blah if you need me you know feel free to say hello or whatever it's okay. Just be on time. That's all I say. Just make sure you be on time. That's 90% of it. And act like you want to work. That's all I would say. Okay? But no. People, you know, they would look at me, whatever. Oh, it's okay. You can talk to people. You don't have to look at a screen all the time. You can talk. Right? These mothers are not doing it. These mothers ain't even teaching these kids how to cook. These kids don't even know how to cook. Don't know how to clean. Don't know how to dress. Females don't even know how to take care of themselves. No, because these mother, we're the mothers. But see, that's another thing. That's another thing that I should add to the list. We we have to teach. We have to show the next generation of what it takes to be a human being. But that's not happening. Everybody's you. Yeah, everybody's looking on the screen. Well, why can't you talk to me in person? You can't talk to me in person because I'm not a screen. I'm not on the screen. <laughs> well, I am. But see, you see how I am on YouTube. That's how I am. I'm 20 times more friendly in person. I have no fear coming up to anybody and talking. None. None. I'll, as a matter of fact, when Obama was campaigning in, Oak, in Oakland before he became president, I took my son to go out and we were, so here was the stage. We were on, on the side in the back of the stage. When he was, you know, leaving the podium, I was like, hey, hey, you know, come over here and talk to us or whatever. And then everybody else started screaming, hey, hey. he came over and he shook our hand. He shook my son's hand. Yes. I'm not scared to talk to nobody. No one. I will give you an example, but I'm not going to tell my business. See, and I said, no, you can't tell. Social media, you guys tell everything to the screen. That's, I just got to. Got off made a video with the baby whatever why do you need to tell your business to the screen and i'm very and the reason why i said that is because what he's doing i could tell that his mother didn't teach him right his mothers you we have to teach we have to show our kids what to do and what not to do i don't care if they don't like it that's how you raise kids these kids are not being raised but mothers, we women, we have to step up and show our kids the right way. Even if we're not doing it, I tell myself, okay, you know, he'll say, oh, well, you know that. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. That's my job as a mother, as a woman, as a nurturer, as an educator to teach youngsters. And not, it's just not my son who gets it. I'll, I'll tell that to anybody. If you're younger than me, hell, if you're older than me, I still tell it. You don't have, you haven't had any training. There's when I make the Kevin uh, Samuel videos, a lot of men who come in there. I was like, where's your father? I can tell you don't have a father because if you did have a father, you would not be on my video talking about a grown woman. If you're a grown man, you should be out cutting the grass or trying to figure out how to build buildings or fix cars or trying to make the next, be the next Elon Musk. Why are you on my video? degrading me as a woman you need to go find your daddy a mother can give social graces can teach their kids social graces but a man can teach men how to be men i i can't teach my son how to be man because i don't know i'm not a man i can't teach him something i don't know i have no no nothing about nothing about that's i'm sorry that's his father's 
job, not mine. But you men are not stepping up. But this video is not on men. It's about what women, who we are, what we are, what we have to do, how we need to hold up our heads and have know our self-worth. It took me a long time. It took me about 50 years. No, about 45 years. Excuse me. To understand my worth. My self-worth. And when I did, I'm so at peace right now. Oh, I've deleted about 300 people on Facebook. I refuse to talk to others. I won't pick up a phone and call them for nothing because I don't care. When I look back on all the toxicity that was geared towards me for whatever reason. Okay. But as a woman who knows her self-worth, who needs peace in her heart to survive, to say, to stay sane. Mm -mm. Ain't nothing in the world. I just made, I just made a video on the baby and uh, Delaney, Danny Lee. That's a part of being young. I mean, I got on it, but you know, that's that's what happens with me being young. But if you can curtail that ignorance and all that foolery, but that's what being young is all about or whatever, but still, when the police is involved, uh, that's another thing. But, um, you know, women, we just need to know our worth. And we are all worth a lot. We are the creators of life. That alone should put us on a pedestal so high that we are recognized with grace and respect. But we're not. We're not. I don't know why women are not respected in this country. I mean, there's different cultures or whatever, and I, I, I can't, you know, speak on every culture. I'm just talking about in America. Two women were shot last week in Oakland. To one died, 22 year old young girl died. I think it was a robber with it, and all her friends left her. All her friends left her. It's like, <laughs> bitches ain't shit. They ain't. They're not. They're thinking that her boyfriend thinks it was a setup. It could be. That's why I had to let go of a lot of people. I got a lot of people blocked on Facebook and in my life. I, mm -mm, no, no. I had a lot of friends and family that left me. And I have been there for them through the thick and the thin. Oh, you just don't even know. No, you go ahead. You go ahead, do you. I'm good right here. I don't need to communicate with you at all because of the jealousy and the and the pettiness and the gossiping. All. I'm not about all that. I, I don't need to speak to you to hear the worst about everybody else and then hear about you speaking the worst of me. I'm good. You go ahead and stay over there and I'll stay over there because I need peace. I need peace to be who I am in my aura. And if you're that toxic that you need to go and talk to me about someone and then talk to someone about me, guess what? You just go ahead. You can just bypass me. You can just go ahead and talk to them about me from afar. Okay? How about that? Yeah, that's what we'll do. And I'm good. I, I, I am okay with that. Because I'm at peace. And I have a list of stuff that I got to do every day just to, I'm not even on track. There's a, there's, I need 48 hours in a day. Hell, 72 hours to, to get everything that I have done. You know what I'm saying? I got to cook. I do my videos. I got to get up. I got to get dressed. I got to go, you know, to all these appointments, you know. And then, you know, when I'm working, oh my God. But you still got to eat. You still got to cook. You still got to get dressed. You, get, you see what I'm saying? You still got to clean it. Da, 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 da. It just never stops. So in order for me to have some type of peace and prosperity, I have to take all of that toxicity away. In order to keep my head up high, to be happy and jolly, I have to delete some things that bring me down. And that's what Danny Lee needs to do. Delete him because he brought you down to a... a, a a level of just, just, it's just despicable. I mean, 
I don't think he hit her, but uh, I might as well say it. Might as well, but no. Anyway, I just wanted to just, you know, share that because I was just like, gosh, we go through so much. And we're most, for the most part, we're just beat down. By the time, you know, women get 50, 60, heck, some in the 40s, 70, you know, some of them are just so drained. I mean, take off, let me take off this wig and this makeup, but I look just as bad, just as bad. I might even look just as bad with the makeup and, the, you know, in the makeup and the wig. It just, <sighs> we go through so much and we have to deliver even more, even more. We're just not, we're just not respected. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Thank you for listening. Bye.